Follow up tonight on a story we first brought you yesterday. The Kansas Department of Agriculture revoking the license of a South Topeka hotel, a place that many people actually called their longer term home. Advocates say this whole situation points to a much larger issue. 13's Lane Gillespie looked into that. He spoke with the Topeka Housing Authority today. Lane, what did they say? Well, Melissa, president and CEO of the Topeka Housing Authority, Trey George, says the situation with the Travelers Inn shows why Topeka needs to address a lack of housing. A Kansas Department of Agriculture inspection concluded the Travelers Inn is an unsafe place. It cited 14 infractions, including cockroach infested rooms, stands, toilets filled with waste, and even used needles in an animal skeleton. People who live there say they know it's not the best, but they have a roof over their head. Whatever it takes to keep our families dry and safe. The KDA says they are not evicting the current residents, but no more guests are allowed to check in. President and CEO of the Topeka Housing Authority, Trey George, says the situation highlights the lack of clean and affordable housing in Topeka. I don't think it's a secret to anybody. We, we need more housing. We need more affordable housing in Topeka. And so the more people that are out looking for it, it just makes it that big of a challenge. The city of Topeka says it's working with partners to assist current travelers in residence. But George says THA currently has no affordable housing available and hundreds are on their wait list, creating a larger problem for those needing immediate help. The story I usually tell people is people don't walk in our doors saying, I believe I'm going to uh, have a need for help for my housing in six months. It's usually I need help right now. And um, so that's one of our uh, more bigger challenges is that, you know, the best we can do is say apply, get on the wait list, and we'll get to you when we can. Um, but that's obviously not what people need when they walk in the door. George hopes to one day get enough federal funding to get more affordable housing and put an end to the homeless problem in Topeka. Homelessness is a problem in, in Topeka. It's a problem everywhere, but the more that we can all work together and, and make those resources available and create new resources in our community, it'll help everybody. The Kansas Department of Agriculture did tell us they are in contact with resources like the Topeka Rescue Mission and the Homeless Task Force to help find alternatives for the current residents. They said they do not know the official number of residents in the building. David? We'll stay on the story. Lane Gillespie tonight. Thanks. The government